Hello, my name is Michael Kaczynski from OEM Design Services. I'm here today to discuss our Extrusion Temperature Control Kit. This kit is a very easy to install and easy to operate package that's been fully engineered and ready to be installed in your system. What it consists of is our color touchscreen, which is a six inch diagonal. We have our Siemens PLC with three Ethernet ports, power supply, and circuit breakers for input and output. On the second DIN rail, we have three Jeffran Jefflex four channel temperature controllers. And alongside that, we have our zone cooling solid state relays that are fused. These components are mounted and fully wired on DIN rails, the standard DIN rails that are 22 inches wide. They're fully wired and ready to go. Uh, if you notice down here, we have all of the incoming and outgoing zone power wires all ready to roll. They're set in 10 foot lengths. Uh, and we also have wires for all the zone cooling. These heat zones are configured for single phase operation uh, for extruders up to three inch. For extruders larger than three inch that run three phase zones, we can reconfigure these to run as, uh, as, as two three phase in one module. It's a relatively simple change to make. Uh, the solid state relays in the heaters are rated at 30 amps and 480 volts. And we also supply a full set of electrical schematics. If you notice, the wires are all numbered with wire numbers. Makes it much easier to diagnose uh, later on if you ever have to get involved and, and check wiring out. The PLC, which is up on the upper DIN rail, has two relay outputs. One is for cold barrel interlock to the extruder drive to ensure that the barrel is up to a safe operating temperature before turning the screw along with a high temp runaway interlock. Uh, some uh, factories require a mechanical relay in front of the solid state relays. Uh, so if a zone overheats, you can uh, disconnect the power to all the zones at that point. So those, those uh, outputs are relays and they're available for uh, wiring into your existing control system. We uh, will configure the uh, cooling solid state relay count to match the amount of barrel zones that you have. In this case, we have five solid state relays. It's one, two, three, four, five for the barrel. And, and uh, for the heat section, we have three units here. There are four zones a piece, which means it's capable of 12 zones worth of heating. In this case, the customer is only requiring 10, so we use four, four, and two. It's a relatively simple uh, uh, installation procedure for this. You, um, uh, we've got like 10 steps involved. You remove the old controllers from the operator panel, remove the old heat and cool relays from the panel. Then you mount our two DIN rail sections, 22 inches wide, onto your panel. Connect your incoming and outgoing heater wires. And connect your incoming and outgoing cooling wires. Uh, by the way, the cooling uh, solid state relays are fused at 10 amp and the devices can handle uh, 240 volts uh, is the rating for this. Uh, we're going to connect the thermocouples to the Jeffran units. They connect to these lower terminals down here. For our test purposes, we just have them jumped out, uh, giving an ambient uh, temperature indication. We're going to uh, mount the touchscreen to the operator panel. Now, because you're removing all of those separate temperature controllers, you will probably have to put a plate together that's large enough to cover all those holes, and then we'll have the cutout for this screen. And then you can mount that to the front operator panel. And uh, underneath there, we have an Ethernet cable, uh, and we have 24-volt power 
that's all pre-wired with a 10 foot length uh, that presently is uh, wrapped up inside of our uh, test rig panduit here. So you just plug that in and you're ready to go. P turn your power on and uh, you go into the test mode, run your auto tunes and you should be ready for production. Uh, typically these systems require uh, we could we could do it in four hours. We could do a full conversion, rip out the old equipment, put the new equipment in, and have it up and ready for test within four hours. Uh, it's a relatively simple package to get going.